four-town region, a place to be inspired by. The unique Nordic feeling is evident in the four-town region. The clear, fresh air, the breathtaking archipelago, the green forests with all the lakes and rivers, the freedom to wander where you will, small villages with their charming architecture, the astonishing feeling of being totally alone when you want to be, a region to be inspired by. Nice to live in an environment like this, close to the sea, close to the wood. What does it, does it do to you? I, I mean, it's uh, a lot of musicians like to move to the big city, to New York or to Stockholm, Copenhagen, but I've always done the opposite. I went to the countryside instead to get peace and quietness, you know, a slower tempo, slower life tempo. You live by the seaside and, and you've got a summer house out in the woods. Which do you prefer the best? Well, it's good qualities both, I think. Actually, you know, the, the uh, unconsciousness in your mind is often symbolized by the ocean, by something weighs very big, or the woods. So it, can, it both has the meaning of going into something, getting in contact with your creativity. Some people talk about my music as the Nordic sound, a Nordic sound. It's not that type of energy that music that comes from a big city. I guess it's more meditative, more contemplative, more peaceful music. The Four Town region in the triangle between Oslo, Copenhagen and Gothenburg is also a dynamic region. Together, Lysesjel, Uddevalla, Venesbori and Trollhetland can be counted as the fifth largest city in Sweden, with 155,000 inhabitants. Four towns working together with the aim of being the leading industrial and technical region in Europe by the year 2012. Where Sweden is the industrial centre, uh, also the trade centre in Scandinavia, and uh, the four towns is a very important part of that. And of course, uh, we have uh, the automotive industry here, also represented, for example, in Trollhättan and uh, Uddevalva. We have uh, the Volvo Aero in, uh, in uh, Trollhättan, just to name a uh, few uh, very well-known companies. Is this a dynamic region? Yes, it is, in fact. Uh, we are, uh, have a little of a boom for the moment, and uh, we see, look forward also into the new age of ET, where we have uh, many new, uh, very successful uh, companies working. What do you think about the future for this region? I think it's very bright, in fact, uh, and we welcome uh, many new investors every day. A dynamic region with an exciting future in advanced technology to be used not only in the car industry and engineering, but also in the fishing industry, tourism and education. Some of Sweden's biggest companies are located here, but the car industry, led by Saab and Volvo, provides much input. Well, I think that the Swedish car, car industry um, has a particular attraction in markets around the world. Uh, so I think that as Volvo is successful, um, or as Saab is successful, I think we both share in the heritage of the Swedish car industry. So it is good for both of us. A new industry is growing fast in the Four Town region, the film industry. This has already resulted in a nomination for an Oscar, many Gold Beetle Awards and a higher education in film production. In just a few years, West Sweden has become the leading film region in Sweden. Uh, and the driving force behind that uh, is, of course, the regional film fund, Film i West. What are the factors to make a region so important in film business? Well, you need uh, competence, you need equipment, and you need studios. And you also need to develop good infrastructure for filmmaking. That is very important. Uh, as you have seen in other countries in Europe, uh, filmmaking can be uh, a, a tool to, uh, to, for regional development. But the producers, they must love the area as well, do they? Yes, they do. Uh, 
you find a variety of sceneries in this area. You have the coastline, you have the woods, uh, and you have the towns and the countryside. Are there any films you already are proud of? The award-winning uh, film Show Me Love by Lucas Modison. And, of course, this year's winner of the Golden Palm in Cannes, Dancer in the Dark, by the Danish director Lars von Trier. The Fortown region is full of interesting scenery for use in film production. A region rich in history and culture. Uh, this is a very interesting area. Uh, in that respect, it's um, a lot of small societies, small cities, um, in a very sm kind of small area, close together, uh, with a lot of history, of course. Uh, you have the coast, you have the big channel going through here. You have this rich farming area a little bit further in. <clears throat> and in this quite uh, uh, heavy populated, at least in Swedish measurements uh, area, there is a lot of history, a lot of cultural institutions, museums like the one we're standing in now. There are art halls, uh, there are world heritage areas and so on. Can you discover this only in the museums or can you discover it outdoors in the nature? I would say uh, you have to do both because in the museum you can have the stories to be told about the, the region, but you have to go outside. You have to see, you have to go to the small villages out on the coast, now living villages. You have to see the remains from Bronze Age and Stone Age and, uh, and it's, everything is there. It's on a lot of places we have cleared lo the land for visitors with parking places, uh, small path uh, walks and information signs. So it's uh, fairly easy to find and see. The future of any region is dependent upon the power of the young generation and the possibilities for higher education and research. The Fortown region is dynamic also for the young. What are you studying? I'm studying a machine engineering program why did you choose this university? Because it has a really good reputation around in the region and I have heard a lot of uh, good stuff about this school so I wanted to try, try out it out. It's quite a small university, what do you think about that? I think that, it's, uh, that a small university has a lot more to offer for a student uh, like in contact with the um, tutors and uh, and the region and so so on. Yeah, you have a, a really good environment around here. Uh, you have the, the pulse of a city as well as the, the calm uh, in the nature. But is this enough for a young person? Don't you have to go to Gothenburg or Stockholm or London or...? Of course you have to go to other, other places as well, but this region has all that you need for, for living, for, for staying and for liking it here. This university has got, got a lot of cooperation with, with the companies mm -hmm. uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, do you think that is important? Uh, that's really important. Uh, we have something called uh, cooperative education and that is really important for the students to, to get a contact with the companies during their studies and to, to have the exercise of their studies during the, the education. Sweden's natural resources are many and of high quality. This is also true in the Four Town region. The fish uh, here at the west coast in Sweden is, uh, I always have, it's top quality. And you have here in the summer, you have the mackerel and you have the fresh shrimps and, and so on. And it's marvelous. It tastes good. Do you think the fish is important for, for a lot of people living here at, at the west coast and in the western Sweden? Yes, of course. Uh, they fishing and you have the fishermen and of course and they earn their money uh, to, to fish. And uh, we at the, the restaurants, we uh, love to, to buy the fish because uh, the quality is top. You don't only cook fish? Of course not. Uh, if we go 50-60 kilometers east from the west coast, we have a lot of forest. And, uh, of course, we have a lot of wild meat and mushrooms, and it's uh, quite good quality, too. Elk, 
Yes, and roe deer, and uh, you have that uh, cloudberries, and you have uh, chanterelles, and, and so on. A lot of uh, real good foodstuffs. And what have you done today? Uh, some nice fresh mackerel. Uh, and I have white wine and some cream and dill herein. And uh, we make a top of fresh shrimps too. Like that. That's a real nice West Coast meal. Oh, lovely. That is a typical Swedish dinner, is it? It is, really. Mm.